Hey and welcome back to Toby's Real Life Skills with Toby. Today I'll take a video of the smart chat. It's not by the blue company, you might all know or might have heard about it. It's a fraction of the price, as much as I remember. I got this sent for free, so I'll just take a look. I'll connect it and I want to test it by myself and uh, by my, with my equipment and then, you know, just see how it works and performs and maybe it's some good alternative depending on your use case. Since unboxing can be rather boring, I thought about just, you know. Well, what's in the box? Smart shunt itself. And by the way, it looks freaking close to another product we've already seen on my channel, but also on other channels. Um, it does say it's up to 500 amps, which is great. It's labeled up here, it's great. It has a um, QR code for the app, which is also great. Uh, when I used it, I was able to open the Android app. And it also comes uh, with the somehow known connector here, which goes to USB. I'm not, I'm not sure the UART, U-A-R-T connect, whatever that is. If not figured out, there's a uh, Bluetooth light LED. And then we have here the, um, the positive connection and aux we'll have to figure out what it means. It does come with a couple of wires. Uh, I think in total three, I took one away already. A second of those uh, pos positive one, the red ones, basically to cover all three connectors here. And a little manual grid. Uh, I don't want to bore you too much, so I prepared something. I have a little battery up here. And by the way, that's the third wire, in case you were wondering. And it's pretty easy what you have to do. It tells you to battery minus, to system minus. So I'll connect the negative terminal, which is a little wire here. And uh, then I also have the positive over here and I'll connect both. Negative to this big one, positive to the V battery plus. It told me the right one, so I'll do the right one. Um, at least that's what. I found in this little booklet. The positive one has a fuse in here. I guess it's probably five amp or so. Uh, it should be able to just plug in. Yeah, that's it. And now we have a blue LED. That's great. Let me get my phone for that. So I'll open the app. I did already connection just to make sure that everything works. Um, at the moment it's blue blinking. So it's not connected as much as I understand. When I connect it, I have to type in a password, which is a default one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six password. And I've entered pair. And what I can see is this crate. It says it's 100%. I mean, I just connected it. So there's nothing else on it. Let's see, 13.3. Now let's see here. I don't know if you can really read it. Look at that. Let me connect this. It is 13.3. We can see it a little bit. And when I test on the smart chant, 13.3. So that's great. So that's great. It says 13.3. That's pretty close. There's no current drawn at the moment. Um, there's no power going in. We do have Input starter battery, we have an output, okay. Nothing connected as you see. We have a craft current state, last seven days, stuff like that. I just connected it, so it's, yeah, one minute old. Around that time. And then you can log in, it looks like, if you want to. But I think I'm pretty happy with this view at the moment. And really, that's for now just all i think it's pretty interesting to see that there's another smart channel out there which is a fraction of the price 
a well-known brand. Not sure if it's good or not. Um, just leave it up to you, but I uh, will certainly go ahead and test it. Link in the description of this little cheaper version. Uh, it does look similar to the Victron. I don't have my, my Victron here at the moment, so I cannot really test it or compare it at least for you guys. Well, at least for now, quite interesting to see that there is a cheap alternative around. If you have any questions about it, if you want to see something specific, low test, if you want to see if it can draw 500 amp, um, that's something which I have to see if I have such a system at all. <laughs> but, uh, well, that's for all. That's all I wanted to show you. There's an alternative on the market for not a smart shunt. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? No idea. Um, just wanted to show you. You can connect it. You can work with the app, which is great. I leave it up to you if you think it's good or not. But I'll go ahead and we'll do some tests on my end and uh, we'll figure out if I like it. But until then, thanks for watching. Tschüss!